Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampRecrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks for joining me today for another video tutorial. We are not live today. I'm setting up for my big craft show this weekend. So I have pre-recorded today's um, video. I'm not sure if I'll get, get one for the next uh, couple of videos. So we may see you next week. We'll see what happens. Um, so we have our new November host code. We have some online uh, exclusives that are coming next week. I'll be see sending out an email on that. And um, yeah, let, I think we'll get going. All right, so today I wanted to share this really cute surprise card. It opens up like this. We're gonna stamp on the inside though. And then this slides open and we have a, a little reveal. So I had done these for one of our team swaps where the theme was a surprise card. So I just thought this was super fun and um, great for those boys. We don't always make really fun cards for the boys, so I thought this was really cute. All right, we're gonna start off with our card base. So I'm using Pebble Path. This is a little smaller than normal. It's five and a quarter wide, but it's only 10 and a half inches long. So when we fold it in half, the finished card height is only a five and a quarter inches instead of five and a half. We have to do that to leave a little bit of room for, for our little tag right here. Okay, so that's the size of our base. Now with our designer paper, I have used a piece of four by five of our Fresh as a Daisy designer paper. I love the back because it gives kind of this urban, gritty, pebbled path, air, you know, dry brush kind of look. And then I use the Radiating Stitches dies. This is an online exclusive. And I use this one. So it cuts a nice smooth outline and then the stitches are on the inside of this one. And I centered that right in the middle. Do your best to get it centered as best you can. And then run this through your die cutting machine. And then we come out with our two pieces. So we're using both of these pieces. All right, next we have, let's see, let's bring our base in. We are going to use a piece of pebble path. This is for our, our slider part. This is going to be, I think it's five and an eighth by three and a quarter. Five and an eighth by three and a quarter. And I will post, these measurements on my blog, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, we are going to, let's use our very best trio punch to do a little top on our tag. I could probably move that out of the way. Okay, flip it over, we're gonna do this side. Okay, then we need a little slot for our ribbon. So we'll put this in. I should do that towards me so I can center it properly. Let's see, that looks pretty centered. Hopefully. Okay, so we've got that notch there. Uh, let's see what we have next. So we have, this has some pieces, so don't, you know, don't freak out, but it does have a few pieces. We have a big piece of basic white. This is four by five, and that's gonna go on the inside. So we'll just set that there for now. We have a piece of basic white that is three and a half by four and a half. And this is gonna go right on the front, okay? We're gonna do our stamping in just a second. We have a piece of white that we're going to do our little game controller on. That's just a scrap piece. And then a piece of basic white that's like half an inch by five and a quarter. It's just a, a strip. So we just want it to be wide enough to fit across here, okay? So let's do some stamping. We're using the Level Complete, of course, stamp set. This is so good for gamers. I have, I mean, all my kids play video games at some time or another. And I, they're all adults <laughs> and all their spouses and significant others all play video games. So this card would be good for any of them. I love this card. It's hard to find cards with, you know, for our young people who like to play games. 
we don't always get good um, good gaming pop culture type cards. Okay, so I'm going to use, I'm just using Memento on everything. Let's see if I can fit this on. I might have made my scrap too small. That'll work. Okay, so I'm going to color this. I'm just going to use markers because the coloring is very minimal. These are all brights, whoops, except for these two. But you could use blends if you have them too. This is very detailed coloring. So I'm going to use um, Asia Afternoon and I'm using my little small, uh, my small tip here. I'm doing that one. I've got Poppy Parade. I'm gonna do this one right here. Okay, then we have Granny Apple Green. That goes on the bottom one. You can leave a little white ring kind of around it or you can uh, color the whole thing. And then we're using Daffodil Delight on that one. Then I'm going to use a black Stampin' Write marker. And I'm gonna color in this area. I had to Google game controllers and find one and just color it like it shows on the um, on the game on the on the picture. <laughs> I can't talk and color at the same time. I can barely see the color so you know if this isn't perfect just forgive me. Um, but I do Google a lot of things to see what color everything is to figure that out. Okay, I think that's all the black that's on this one. So next we have to cut this out with scissors. So from the magic of television, here we go. Oh, I've got that all smudged up. Okay, we're gonna cut this out then. <laughs> I have ink on my fingers, hold on. Let me make sure that that's wiped off before we get to coloring or cutting. Okay, I must have touched that other one with inky fingers, so we'll just go ahead and cut this out. What's great is that this is just a nice smooth outline, and I'm leaving just a little bit of white around it. A little trick with cutting is to move your paper and not your scissors, and I say that, and I move my scissors a little bit, but I try to do my paper. You have a brother scan and cut you could probably make a bunch of these cards really quickly I'm trying not to get um, anything smudged okay not the best cutting but it will work okay all right, now we are going to stamp. Well, I found out, I already have that one, Achievement Unlocked, so we don't have to stamp that one. On here, we are going to stamp. I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm gonna center this. I'm gonna place everything where I want it. Let's just do a little bit of this to hold it. I don't really like to glue and then stamp. So I'm just gonna hold that in place straight, hopefully. Let's put our frame over it so we can see. And then we are going to stamp uh, leveled up. Let's see. Let me see how far down we need to stamp this. <laughs> Look at my, my thing here. Leveled up. I feel like that's not good. So we're just going to take this and eyeball it. Leveled up right there. And then we're going to put a little trophy above it. Cute. Let that dry. On the inside, I'm just gonna stamp happy birthday. and then you can do anything else you want to do. Those are our main components. Okay, 
what I do want to do is color our uh, trophy. So I'm going to use the Daffodil Delight and Wild Wheat because this looks kind of like gold to me. So I'm going to try to color the arms of our trophy. I'm having to hold my bifocals in place here so that um, I get that right. And color, we're gonna do this kind of darker gold on our trim areas. Right here. And then maybe the bottom. And we'll do that little piece too. All right, let's do our daffodil. Now my poor daffodil delight marker is a little bit abused from class. So we'll just make it work. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll do a little bit of assembly here. I'm gonna put this one on the inside. All right, I'm gonna crease that one more time. So it'll stay closed. And then I'm gonna adhere this one right to the center. well. Okay. There we go. Next we are going to lay our let, turn this over. Turn your frame over. Turn your tag over. And I put I have slightly thicker at the bottom so I'm going to do that. And I want to make sure my tag, my, my bottom corner of the little punch right there is what's going to be aligned. You know what? I'm going to move that down a little bit. I'm going to get it down as far as I can because we are going to use our adhesive strips. I'm going to grab this. And this is we're going to pop up that frame. But we need that tag as a guide because this frame is gonna go, I'm gonna put this right at the bottom. Okay, let's get some scissors to cut that off. Use my Teflon scissors. This uh, adhesive strip's gonna keep our tag where we want it so it won't go past or below the, the frame. So that's our stopper. So let's get that centered. Okay, we wanna to try to get that straight. Then we're going to use this as well for our sides and that's our guide for sliding it. So you don't want it too close that it's gonna stick. You wanna give it just a, a hair of wiggle room. And we're gonna piece this piece here, wiggle room right here. We need a little bit more. How much do we need? Probably that'll be good. Okay. That will work. Okay. Now, before I peel that off, I'm going to flip this over, and what I want to do is put this, I don't know if that's going to work. Let's go ahead and put our frame on. We're leaving the whole top part of it open. All right. Let's get this centered. It is sticky. So make sure you've got a good idea where it's gonna go before you start laying it down. All right, now, if you want, you can add a 
couple dimensionals right on the top corners here to keep those popped up and stable. Okay, make sure they're, they're over on the edges though. Okay, let's slide our tag back in. All right, see how it stops right there? So we're gonna take this piece, make sure it's the same direction that you just stamped it in, and we're gonna glue this down to our tag. All right, Where's, we wanna make sure we get the edges down well. Not too worried about the middle, but we're gonna get the edges down. Just place this right in the opening. Pull that out. Make sure that's down nice. And then we're gonna put our achievement unlocked right in the center. All right, I've got adhesive all over me. Right in the center of our piece here. Let's make sure that it's gonna show this will be good right here. Okay, I'm just gonna put adhesive going across the whole thing. I'm centering the words on that designer paper panel. Hopefully straight. Let's just trim. Okay, and slide this back in. Cute. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, next thing is we're going to put our controller right about, let's see, we're gonna put it so it hangs down a little bit, but we're gonna pop it up only on this layer. So let's grab some dimensionals. Uh, where did I put those? Oh, they're right here in front of me. Okay, it'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll put a couple here. We'll put one right here. I'm not gonna worry about the bottom because that's gonna hang over a little bit. Okay. You could also use a little bit of that adhesive strip. We're going to glue this down, or adhere it down right about there. So it comes over and then it will stop the tag from coming out. Okay, where we can just see the leveled up. And get that in. One thing you can do is kind of just bend it up a hair and then it won't get stuck on either side. A hair on the top, a hair on the bottom. And that'll keep it from sticking. Well, that's not it here. Well, hold on a second. I gotta put a little bit of Seal right on the edge. Make sure you get this banner on all the way to the edge so it doesn't catch your card. Okay, last but not least, we are going to add a little pull tag. So I've got some ribbon. This is the, what do you call it? Pebble Path Ribbon. I don't want this to be bulky, so I am just taking it and putting, putting it through the hole right here, the little slot, and then I'm going to attempt to staple this <laughs> right here to hold it in place. So I don't want to knot, and it's, it's, it's a trick. Hopefully I have staples in this thing. Okay, I want to staple it right to the top of the tag. Not too bad, not too bad then I want to make sure that this is not going to, that the staples are flat. Usually I have a little hammer that I hammer, but you can just take your bone folder and press it down. And that'll flatten out those staples so that they're not sharp or poking out. And then you can trim this down a little bit more if you want. Put it in an angle, whatever you wanna do. You might have to fold it to get it in the envelope, but that's it, isn't that cute? leveled up. I think that's so awesome. And then you can do happy birthday. 
Isn't that cute? You could make this into a cute Christmas card and that opens up and, you know, maybe it's got, you know, a gift for you. You could put a gift card inside, whatever you want to do. I just think this is a really fun little special card. Might take a few more minutes, but not too bad. So I will post measurements on my blog. And um, remember I have the, the November host code, the items I used, I used the level complete. I will put that on my blog as well. Our adhesive strips, we've got the very best trio punch. Where's that? Right here. And then the radiating stitches dies, which are super awesome. And they are in our online exclusive. So you do get quite a few dies. You get the circles, you get a heart, you get some frames. Is that all? I feel like there might be one more, but maybe that's it. Okay. Thanks everybody for stopping by and I will see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.